Shalom to everyone. Forgive me for the departure from my normal videos. I hope to be back soon to my regular series. But when I was led to this, I realized it was something I always wanted to talk about, but I never had the words. I first learned about Brother Theo from Days of Noah's channel. And after visiting his own channel, I found him to have an uncanny talent for breaking down the hidden or esoteric meaning in music. But I also found this old gem from long ago that he breaks down something else. The Illuminati hands down the judgment of Lucifer, the rules and the laws of Lucifer, the, the devil, the adversary, Azazel, Halal, uh, by way of leaders. The leaders who are placed in front of us, the world leaders, international leaders, and community leaders, uh, the leaders in entertainment, the leaders are the elite of this world. I'm sharing this video from our actual real life brother. And in fact, unlike most of my other videos, this one is actually directed solely to young black men who like myself have grown up in a romantic fantasy with an ancient civilization called Egypt. And don't misunderstand me. I'm not taking anything away from that culture. But what I'm saying is it's not our own. The Heavenly Father brought us out of Egypt already. And now the deceptions of men have taken us back. Let's jump here to the black elite and HBCs. And we're gonna stop at 1.30. 10 minutes on that. The black elite and HBCs. What are HBCs? Historically black colleges. History. His story. Mystery, my story. Historically black colleges, unfortunately, were established by the establishment to create black decoys uh, to help to bring the black community into the fullness of Luciferian New Age beliefs by painting a black version of the Luciferian lie. And you brothers and sisters who be on here trying to Egyptify, I know what you read, and you ain't read much. You read what academia provided for you, and you read what a few Jive Khan artists, supposedly pro-black conscious devils masquerading as wise men from our community. Nothing but boule mason dudes, okay, colored black. They wear some beads or had their head dreaded or wear unk, and you think that they can't be a part of the brotherhood, fools. That is the way that the black leg of the Illuminati get down. That's how they look. They believe that. They believe that through the unk or through the worship of Osiris or Asura, which is nothing but a black version of how to talk about the chief of Nephilim. Because he was green and giant. Ho, ho, ho. He wasn't black. He was green. Look it up. Osiris was green. So we're talking about reptilian beings, fallen demonic entities who came down here to the kings of the earth according to Psalms 2 and 2. We read it already. Who was the kings of the earth? You pro-black, you black and proud. Who was the kings of the earth? What civilization was that? It was us. That fuss was us. That's what George Clinton and them say. George Clinton and them know about this. They're part of the elite too. That's why George could make the Cosmic Slop uh, straight to cable series uh, uh, show. Okay, because it reflects the black Masonic belief that there's a mothership out there that's gonna come swoop us up and put the mash on all you white people. You game goofy. You just as game goofy as you could be. You believe that? You just as game goofy as you can be. Come holler at me. I might can help you out. Please come holler at me. Say something. Say something. You are game goofy. And you're teaching Luciferian lies and you don't even know it. Because you have been led to believe a lie by way of a brotherhood that is 
in direct opposition to you. Not because it's white at the root, nor because it's black at the root. It ain't black at the root. It's green at the root. And they've been deceiving you ever since your ancestors, our ancestors, walked around with the uchat on top of the pharaonic headdress, the snake that bringeth Alistair Crowley wisdom. Horus, he said. Now you can better get in touch with Horus than Alistair Crowley. You a bad motor scooter. And now you say, well, yeah, because of my melanin. I, 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 I. All the books you read on melanin came from black boule butt buddies whose job is to secretly get you yourself indoctrinated into the Luciferian magic system. By hook or by crook. So they'll give you that. They'll say, well, yeah, they hear this from us, brothers and sisters. And then you begin to look at the statues and stuff, and you see the black nose and black lips. So, oh, wow, that was us. And let me get off into this thing. I did it. Look at my Facebook pictures. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. I've been doing this since I was in high school. I was where you at now, talking about Egypt, when I was in high school. That's over 20 years ago. You ain't got nothing coming. You really should listen. You really should lend an ear. Because it's not me. I ain't nothing in nobody. I'm nothing in nowhere. However, it's something within me that kept me from being game goofy. And I want to pass it on to you so you don't be deceived and you don't deceive nobody else. So you keep deceiving my brothers and sisters. See, I got family. I got cousins and stuff that watch this stuff on here. I got friends that watch this stuff on here. I got a homeboy who tattooed an all seeing eye on his arm, on his left forearm too, at that left hand path. Because he didn't know enough about the enemy. He didn't know enough about what Crowley said. He believed what some of you false boule teachers uh, uh, who act like you Afro pride guys, you know. He believed what. The first layer of deception I remember was when my mother taught me that Egypt was not what Hollywood showed us. And she was correct. What we didn't know at the time was. They were giving us the bait for the coming trap. You see, they knew that we'd figure this part out. And then we'd go digging deeper into the roots of Egypt. And we'd uncover Kemet. And having been void of any real connection to our identity since the slave days, we were ripe and ready for our minds to accept the coming lies that so-called black leaders and influencers would later feed us. They also knew if they could direct us to an origin that was not our own, we would never realize that we were actually people of Judah. So let's go back to Brother Theo. In the, in the, in the, in the Boule black doctors who came up with uh, uh, Kwanzaa, I understand how this game work now. You game goofy, you got to understand how the game work. It's a game being played. It ain't as flat out as who right. read the most. All right, thanks. You a fool. Okay, so Call no man Raka. Somebody's a fool. It's only a fool who speaketh his whole mind. And believe you me, I ain't told you everything I know. But I'm going I'm to tell you what I believe can help to break you out of the bondage I was once in. That's how I can talk about it. This ain't Pastor Pope Chop. 720 baby did the knowledge test me out I know the day's mathematics but that's neither here nor there it's only so that I'd be qualified by the will of Yah in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach through the Holy Spirit to be able to tell you about a deception not from what I heard or read but what I went through myself from Mosque number one when I was 18 the first mosque established was Detroit. You know that's where Elijah met Fart Muhammad, who was a false messiah. There have been many false messiahs and there will be many more according to Matthew 24. So let's get off into this HBC thing real quick. We got four minutes. Okay, so the Black New Age deception from Motown to Atlanta. That's right, it started in my town, Motown. The black, the first black major city of 
prominence. The first black, excuse me, the first major city to turn black, because it wasn't always black. It turned black. In 1919, your girl Alistair Crowley came here, to uh, came there to Detroit, and uh, he visited the Park Davis Research Laboratory. Park Davis Research Laboratory was the premier chemical and pharmaceutical research company in America, and some would say in the world. They did the original research on drugs and the effect of drugs on the human mind. He, in Detroit, Crawley came there to marry demons, to bring the demon of Pharmacon, and to marry demons with the drug industry. Which is why today, now today you've got so many mind-altering and behavior-altering drugs. Even street drugs, ecstasy and uh, molly, all developed from psychotropic drugs or drugs that were supposed to be used to treat mental illness. What is mental illness but spiritual illness? All spiritual illness starts in the mind. My old dude used to say, mind over matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. But everything starts up here and move its way down. So when Crawley got with Park Davis, it was to fuse demonic power with their knowledge of chem mystery. Chem mystery come from Kemet. Land of magic. Sorry. So you take pride in something. Be sure you really know what it's about. The pride cometh before the fall. Thank you for joining me. Please visit Brother Theo's channel at Unplug Em on YouTube. To every black youth that's out there feeling empty, wanting to fill up on culture outside of these American borders, just know that everything you think is from Africa is not our heritage. And not everything that's ancient is something that's good in the eyes of our Heavenly Father. God bless everyone. Shalom.